This is my Android setup. Clean and simple, just like I like it. But you don't have to. That's the beauty of Android, right? You can use the same apps that I did and yet come up with something completely different. Hey guys, over to here from C4E Tech and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about how I customize my phone. So if you end up liking this video, then please consider subscribing and turning on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. There are two main ways of customizing your device. We can of course do it physically. That is slap on a case or a skin to your phone. But being a reviewer, that's kind of impossible for me because I have to change my phones weekly. So all of my customization is done via the software. Now I keep my tricks and tweaks fairly simple because I want it to be easy to set up and I want it to work across all systems. So the first step here is to choose a launcher. For anyone who might not know, a launcher on an Android system is basically the UI or interface that we interact with once we open the lock screen. Now a quick search on the Play Store would reveal tons and tons of launchers. But personally, I've always preferred Novo Prime over everything else. Why? Because Nova can be made to look like almost anything. Like you wanna hide the app dock? You can do that. You wanna change the app grid or how the animations look? You can do that too. But the best feature for me personally is backup. This makes sharing my setup that much easier and I don't even have to worry about changing phones. As long as I can pop in the backup, Nova Launcher Prime is up and running within seconds. Now that we have honed in on the launcher, time now to add a splash of color to it by selecting a wallpaper. In almost all of our videos, we get at least a couple of comments asking us for links to the wallpaper that we use in the thumbnails. Well guys, here's where we get them from. Personally, I prefer Wallpy over every other app, but Wally is pretty amazing as well. Tons and tons of options, all categorized in easy to find genres, which means no matter if I'm feeling dark and gloomy, or bright and cheery, I have a wallpaper to go with my mood. Also, bonus customization tip. Guys, you can also check out the Unsplash and Pexel websites for beautiful and free wallpapers. To complete the visual theme, we have to get an icon pack. So here, we have chosen to go with Rondo. It has a classic material design theme to it and I think the color scheme goes very well with the rest of my theme. There are a ton of free and paid icon packs out there. But hey, here are two of my favorites. Delta. It's free, has pastel colors, and overall goes really, really well with dark as well as light themes. For my second choice, we have the Funcon icon pack. It just looks so good. I end up going wow whenever I see it. What's better is that at the time of writing this video, Funcon is on sale. So if you like these icons, go grab them soon. As a 90s kid, I was addicted to changing ringtones. One of my first phones, a Nokia, had an inbuilt composer in it and I spent a lot of time making custom ringtones on that. Now that phase has kinda died away and most smartphone users don't pay much attention to their ringtone. As a result, there aren't a lot of dedicated ringtone apps out there. Now I've been using Zedge for ringtone since my Symbian days. Well, fast forward to today and the Android app has one of the best talks of new and exciting tunes. Do give him a listen if you wanna grab something unique for your phone. Finally, it's time to complete the look with a custom widget. Now, not gonna lie, this part is pretty tricky. But hey, if you do not want to create something quite as complicated like this, you can just work off of templates. So what I'm using here is KWGT, or better known as Custom Widget Maker. Now we have the premium version installed in here, that's because I use the backup and restore function very often. For most of you guys though, even the free edition is good enough. And if you think that KWGD is just a bit too hands-on and complicated, well, we have an alternative as well. XWidget is an amazing widget app that has some of the most intricately designed widgets out there. The only con is that they're quite not as customizable as you'd expect with KWGD. Anyway, with that out of the way, we come to the end of this quick little video. By the way guys, this is in no way a complete guide on Android customization, nor is it a review or rundown of the apps mentioned in this video. This is just how I do things, how I customize my phones. And maybe if you like the techniques and apps that we have shown in this video, you could use some of them too. 
Also, I'm curious to see some of your home screens. So if you think yours is unique enough, then send it to me on Twitter. And as always, if you want to see more of these kind of videos, then hit that like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet. Thanks a lot for watching till the end guys. Have a good one. Cheers.